Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Uso. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California. Weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso. Jay Uso in something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. Well, as much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jay needs to do on his own. And Jay is more than equipped to do it. Already one of the most popular stars in WWE, but his following grows every single night. And Jay looks ready to deliver on his unbelievable hype. Symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217. He's arrogant, he's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. With Jey Uso, you have to remember, we're looking at a tag team specialist who's really made a name for himself as a singles competitor as of late. Defying his family's wishes, carving out a path for himself as just Jay. He has truly been a delight to watch grow as a competitor these days. But then we've got Seth freaking Rollins. A truly su goes into the pin. Two. He gets the shoulder up at two. Wow. I've been waiting for the whole time. Out on the pinfall attempt. He's still in this. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, right to the face. My God. He's heading back to the ring. Placing them into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. He finds a counter for Jay. If I'm set, then I want to guarantee a victory here. I'm thinking I might need to dig deep into the bag of tricks, open up my full arsenal of moves, pull out every technique I've ever learned. You know, Corey, with a playbook. Oh, right down. Down. It's cinched. We're going to free the arm and does just that. And Rollins capitalizes. Oh, Seth Rollins. Pinnabring! That is Rollins showing just what it means to be the visionary. Oh, no, that's a lot of blood. No oh, stop. Tried to stop and got hit by an RKO. No way. Suicide died to the outside. Hole does it better. 
That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Sister, look at these vicious kicks to the jaw. Just never had a chance to block any of those. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. I got to say, guys, it's great. Seth Rollins did it. Seth Rollins got a huge win. A count-out win is still a win. It's not the prettiest, most honorable, or even the most fun way to win, but hey, count-outs happen. The raiding party has arrived. Here comes destruction. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring at a combined weight of 552 pounds. The NXT Champions, Ivar and Eric the Viking Raiders. These two have never met a fight they didn't like. Two of the toughest superstars you will find around these parts. Both are very tough competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, Shawn Michaels has entered the building. And their opponents, first, representing Dudes with Attitude from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak King, Shawn Michaels. Michaels is quick to take issue with anyone who dares get in his way. He thinks he's the very <laughs> pinnacle of in-ring perfection. I mean, is he wrong? Michaels excels at in-ring competition. He is better than the rest. And he's been like that since day one, but now everyone is finally realizing it. No denying Michaels is extremely talented, but there's also no denying he'd be the first one to tell you that. Michaels carries himself like a winner because that's what he is. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. He still has to win this match here tonight. Well, as great as Michaels' brash attitude can be at times, he does have a knack for winning when it matters most.
The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, Triple H! Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow. From a blue blood, to a degenerate, to a multiple-time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. And we are about to witness a vicious exhibition of combat with the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. Odin's favorite sons raid and get paid is the order of the day for these two utter powerhouses with the motor and athleticism of men half their size. Plus, I hear ladies love Ivor. I've heard that as well, Corey, but let's just hope they stick to the raid part for this match and take it from there. And as their opponents, you need to cut the ring in half. You're facing a team with great synergy. Keeping them apart will be essential to success. Isolation is certainly a key to neutralizing any great tag team. My God. Just pounding away. Ooh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. He takes control. Ooh. Neck breaker. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Reaches his partner for the tag. Get his press! Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. All the way out. Suplex! Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be hitting the weight room hard if you could suplex that much weight. Good night. Every strike more devastating than the last. Ooh, DDT delivered. Tag made. Got caught in the jaw with the knee. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. No. Someone called a dentist. It's their opponent's oh. legs. Oh. That's a free fall. Oh, God, that hurt. He's in off the tag. Looking wobbly in the corner. What a close line! Oh my, what a splash! That was more splatter than splash. To the cut. Veteran instincts from Triple H. Shawn Michaels tags in. Oh, stiff uppercut. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Whoa, drop kick all the way to the outside. Get his press! 
And that has to bring Eric down a peg. Yeah, HBK teaching a lesson or two. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arms as good of a place to focus as any. This is bad. Eric is bleeding. Had Michael scouted there. Fires back with a crucial elbow. He got whipped into that corner. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Caught him right on the bridge of the nose. There's a tag. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Oh, man. And on that exchange, it looked like Eyeball lost some focus. Yeah, Triple H delivering with some excellent technique. Straight punch, nothing fancy. He's tagging out. Another <laughs> punch. Triple X with a tag. Oh, look at this raining right hands. No escape from these punches. See a kick out there. Yeah. Oh, a blow to the bread basket. Ivar did his homework there. Boom, did you hear the impact? And that winning strategy of Triple H's hits a speed bump on that attack. An attack. Sent to the outside. Gonna risk it all right here. One. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Gonna do it. Two. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. Cerebral Assassin have in store. And he's able to counter. Ah, oh, loving it. Reverse pile driver into the cover. Oh. And he makes the save for his team. Put into the corner now. Ooh, what an elbow. The barrage of elbows. Oh, repeated elbows in the corner. Reversal from the game. Headlock. Ooh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Eyeball with a spin kick of doom. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner. A tag made. Double team coming. This is going to be nasty. Around the rock. End of the line for the game. Makes a cover. No, stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? You can see the toll this match has taken on these competitors. The pained look on their face. Tag made. Double team headed. Our way. Look at this power all the way up. Around the rock. Victory nearly in hand for Eric. Looking for the victory. Two. Man, that was. Great.
grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility. Prepare for a truly glorious arrival. A champion in NXT and WWE, no one else as glorious. glorious. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in. You can never underestimate Robert Roode's in-ring abilities. Because if you make that mistake, you are in for a rude awakening. See what I did there? I get it. You know, long before Seth freaking Rollins had his battle choir, the WWE Universe was singing about this man's glory. Listen, Corey, they still do it now. But Robert Roode wants to show everyone exactly why he's still considered oh so glorious. Okay. 
Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. Few superstars can match the intensity that Karrion Cross brings with him to the ring. I mean, just look at the fire in his eye. Take down, looking for the cross face, gets cinched in. This looking to free the arm and does just that. Paying it right back with a reversal. Well executed suplex. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Striking with an A. Cross out of harm's way. Oh, swift takedown. Kick to the gut. Puts the boot to the midsection. My God, enough. Oh, the heel hook. Stretch. Cross is looking to right the wrongs of his first run in WWE. How does he go about resetting his story, so to speak? Pretend it never happened. Cross has never lacked for confidence and faith in his own abilities. If nothing else, he absolutely has the leeway to dish out punishment on his own terms this time around. He should not hesitate to do so. My goodness! Oh! And then look at that! Power bomb. A power bomb like that will leave you with bruises and remind you of this moment for days. Goodness gracious. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Whip back into the ring. Close line. might be starting to set in. Vicious right forearm. Getting set up for something in the corner. Fashion leg sweep. Cross's mission got put on hold by that attack. A savvy attack by the ring-wise veteran Robert Roode. And Cross fends him off. He skirts around it. Now that's a bell ringer. To the back of the neck. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, what a shot. And now blood is flowing from the sinister face of Cross. Power bomb. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Now, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Oof, kick right to the gut. Stumps. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. And this match about to fade to black. Cross jacket submission applied. I'm not quite sure if this man shouldn't tap out. This is about career. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. He's got the answer for that one. Oh, attacked in the midsection. There we go. Time to work out some aggression. And he's able to fight Rude off. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. It's Austin setting in, and not every one of them is lighting up. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all out. To the back of the neck, Scott is sickle. Getting him into the corner. Oh! Hoping to end it here. And he only stays down for a one count. 
That's smart, taking the one to catch your breath. He's going for it all. Launching. Diving. Close line. Uh-oh. With the reversal. Fireman's carry. Into a neck breaker. Nicely done. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Robert Blue's DDT. Will that stop Cross? Cross is in a compromised position. A oh, timely counter by Cross. WWE fans on their feet showing their respect for this matchup. Great sportsmanship go. being shown here. Oh, come on. Just shake the superstar's oh. hand. Obviously, emotions are still running high, Saxton. You don't know how bad it feels to come up short in a situation like this. Here comes an all-American blue chip talent in Julius Creed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, yeah. representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius. Championships and accolades as a collegiate wrestler and has continued that success in WWE. You're right, Corey. Julius Creed won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and the NXT Tag Titles alongside his brother. If you're looking for some good old-fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. And his partner, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Weighing in at 285 pounds, Brutus Creed! Few men in WWE can match this guy when it comes to pure wrestling. Except maybe his brother. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Creed. Britain's most beautiful import sent to us in a pair. Yes, boy! And at a combined weight of 
357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson, pretty deadly. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, two exceptional in-ring talents with exceptionally inflated egos. Jealousy is not a good color on you, Saxton. Proof that looks can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy. Come on, Cole. Please. Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. With the Creed's roots in amateur wrestling, Julius and Brutus are able to maintain focus and remain composed in high-pressure situations. They're confident that their preparation will lead them to victory. The Creed's are so big, so strong, and so quick that they can turn an attack from an opponent into their own offense. Truly innovative offense from this duo. Plain and simple, Julius and Brutus want to decimate their opponents and wipe the mat with them when they're done. Well, pretty deadly might not take things seriously. You can't deny how dangerous they actually are inside the ring. They should not be taken lightly. I agree, Saxton, except for the part about them not being serious. Look what they're wearing. Serious care was put into that, just like serious care is put into everything they do. Kit gets reversed. Heavy body shots. Whipped hard. What a close line. He had it scouted. Keeping it. Uh oh. Mm. Counters that. Oh. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance. Double big back body drop. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. attack of such aggression that was a vicious display you can almost see the disdain in their eyes oh, DDT this boom nice could be some collateral damage on the way here everyone needs to clear out including us power slam all the way up the power Suplex. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be, and he goes for the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Oh, oh, oh that'll cave your chest in. And Prince looked rocked after that. Countered by Brutus. Complete dead left. This is incredible. Good wrench. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Yeah. 
Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Oh! The confidence of... Got it! There's the winners of the tag match. Here are your winners. Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Pretty deadly. The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. This match ending by countout is not satisfying to the WWE Universe. I think they may demand a rematch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England. Weighing in at well, he wants 200 to this. in five pounds. Uh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> they clearly weren't expecting this, and that's what makes it so sweet. Looks like the referee is getting frustrated trying to get them to bring it to the ring. Boom, Butch with a timely counter. Double underhook applied. Now butterfly suplex. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Stopping their opponent. And the forearm smash. Superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Oh, and that buys some time. As much of a brawling brute as Butch is, we've seen him outsized by many superstars in WWE, Corey. Well, size has never been a concern of Butch's, Cole. He faces every opponent with the same spit and vinegar, and that's what makes him so dangerous. I would say Butch fights with a chip on his shoulder, but it's more like a brick. Oh! He manages to escape it. Toss back into the ring. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, and Butch focused on taking his pound of flesh from his opponent there. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. He's returning fire. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. And another counter. Look at this. Oh, and a back breaker. Right to the spine. Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. Back suplex. I mean, we wait for it the whole time. And a kick out before the count even begins. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. 
Butch turns. How is this superstar still in this match? Hard determination. This is your time to shine. Clothesline! As the arm into a hammerlock cinched in. What's next? Oh, oh my God, what an arm breaker. Butch clutching the wrist. Is punishing his opponent. Kicks, knees, oh, a little joint manipulation. Oh, my. Inflicting pain at will. Can he score the pin? Butch gets the win. Here is your winner. Butch with a victory in this one. Stax was looking to prove himself tonight, but fell short. If I were him, I might be looking into witness protection right about now. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty You know, I think it's safe to say the almighty Bobby Lashley is treading in demigod territory at this particular juncture. Lashley is standing in rarefied air. The presence of Bobby Lashley is not a figment of your imagination. There's no filter on a social media app needed. Bobby Lashley is as real as it gets. Hey, he's a peak physical specimen. Proud U.S. Army veteran who's dominated sports entertainment for nearly two decades. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 200. And 30 pounds, Braun Breaker! Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Look, he's going to have to have a targeted offense in this matchup because Bobby Lashley's combat sports background is insane. And now 
this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. <laughs> I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Sharp oh. elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Yeah. <laughs> Hooked up, it looks like for a belly to belly, sent all the way to the outside. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Counters with an attack on Breaker. And finds a counter. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. No way! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Oh! Loving blow. Oh, Lashley with good timing on the reversal. Belly to belly suplex. Ooh! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Has him up for the power slam from behind into an inverted DDT. He's testing fate here in danger of a count out. And gets tossed back into the mat. Vicious right forearm. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Yeah. Dominating shoulder tackle. Bobby Lashley is certainly the most covered. Shoulder up, and the referee ends the count. So resilient. Yeah. Looking for the full Nelson. If they lock their hands, this one's over. But oh, right to the back of the neck. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. I think you're right. Rotating vertical. Will this be enough? Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? These men knew this match is going... Furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. Big clothesline. Lives to fight an uh-oh. Saw it coming. Damn. Elbow drop. Piercing. He must have seen that coming. And that was an effective attack, guys. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Power slam incoming. No. Counter to you. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. The referee counted, urging them to get in the ring. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. He gets back into the ring. Powerless position to be in right now. Targeting the throat there. Breaker looking for old faithful. Breaker looking to force a submission with the Steiner recliner. You can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. Oh, check out. Uh oh. Cover here. No, two count. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Check out. Uh-oh. He can end it here. He's got him. And Braun Breaker gets the win. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. Well,
that came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it certainly worked. The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight. contest is a triple threat match making his way to the ring from atlanta georgia weighing in at 220 pounds the american nightmare cody rhodes cody rhodes has been on a mission as of late to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. And his opponents first from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds. The Ilya Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. Hey, this dude's been called the Unstoppable Czar. A title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Yeah, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov.
Make way for the head of the table. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The world heavyweight champion. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Roman Reigns! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level. has made it back to the ring and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Out on the apron. Oh, this oh. is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Boom. Nice. Boom. Drop kick hits hard. Lands harder. Great reversal. Stomping. Ouch. Reigns turns that around. Now laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Chopped to the chest. We know you have to watch your back at all times in a triple threat match. Any other advice, Corey? Yeah, here's some for free. Let the other two superstars battle it out as much as possible and for as long as possible. The more time you can spend out of the action, the better situated you'll be to come in at the last moment and deliver the finishing blow yourself. Ah, suplex. Reigns hangs on. Another one. A third? Powerful grip by Roman. Just showing off at this point. Showing absolute control of the situation. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT. And he's going with the great equalizer here. The steel chair. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Punishing their opponent. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. From behind, back suplex. Fighting back with a counter. Nap time on the island of relevancy. Hardy gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. Underhook applied. Side effect. Off into the pin. Gets the shoulder up and one. Not even a near fall there. Strength being shown here. Oh, right to the throat. Superman Good night. Cover. There's two. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Turns it around. Sole of foot meets the stump. Bang. Springboard roundhouse. Good night. Caught with a DDT. Ah, suplex. Reigns hangs on. Another one. A third? What a powerful grip by Roman. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Glazed over. Is it enough? The cover! Oh, he was almost finished. Cody Rhodes 
Edge with a defiant kick out, simply refusing to stay down. Reigns now realizing that he's facing an even tougher level of opponent than usual tonight. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. Cody looking for the win. Crossroads by Cody. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. I don't know how these men keep going. They gotta be close to running on empty by now. Setting up. Suplex. This is it. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Snapmare delivered by Reigns. And a... He fends off the attack. <laughs> oh, big. Rhodes has his opponent. Combination. Oh, maybe not. What power from the tribal chief. Oh, the power. He may be in a bad way here. I'm just surprised that this triple threat match is still going on, Cole. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Good Lord, what a shot. Someone's got to get control of this thing. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. The big dogs unleashed. Dragunov has run into a roadblock. Able to sidestep it. What's he open to find down there? He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Compromised position here. Oh, God. Slow him down. Oh, look at the knees. Just endless knee strikes. about Reigns' offense. Sidewalk slam. He'll take things into the ring. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. He's one step ahead there. Oh, what a close line. Ooh, got clipped by the thrown kendo stick. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Planet face first. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Nightmare. And the Tribal Chief really having to acknowledge the offense directed right at him at this point. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Quick thinking from Dragunov. Hard oh, landing. I can't believe this atmosphere. Everyone wanted a banger, and boy, you got it. Suplex. Dragunov not backing down, not slowing down. He wants this fight. And back in the ring we go. Yeah. All right, suplex. <laughs> Cody Rhodes with a backdrop suplex. Boom, oh, got an uppercut. Jordan. Face meet boot. Holy! Oh, impressive counter. Quick sidestep by Dragunov. And set right into the corner. Cody Rhodes procures a sledgehammer. Ready to smash another 
throw. Critical time for Dragunov to deliver that maneuver. If you're Dragunov, you've got to be looking to deliver the knockout soon. Oh, my God, he it! You can't take any more of that. This must be over. And he breaks the pin. Boom! Cody Rose has his opponent up there. Watch him! Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Ilya toying with his opponent a little bit. He returns to the ring. Nap time on the island of relevancy. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go. And he got in there. I thought that was it. You and me both. Their opponent driven down with the gourd buster. Shoulders down. Running interference. Wards off that offense from Cody. He knew that. May have just vanquished Reigns. For the win. Two. He stays alive. He stays alive. The head of the table almost went to the back of the line on that one. Roman better get it together. And Dragon on the camp. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he stops the count. Uh-oh. He turns it around. What a close line. Ouch. Really skull rattling. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Opportunity in this triple threat match. Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. To win a triple threat match, you need incredible skill, instincts, or luck. Dare I say, tonight's winner showed all three in victory. Sami Zayn is ready for a fight. And it is going to be a good one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212. Listen to the energy in here for Sami Zayn. Sami never gives less than 100% in the ring.
The WWE Universe is on their feet for Sami Zayn. Well, here comes the Scottish warrior. Carrying his trusted blade, Angela, McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. The man, once known as the Chosen One, always doing what he can to claim and prove he deserves a top spot in WWE. Well, Drew has reached the mountaintop and knows how good that rarefied air can be. And he will do anything to stay there. Well, we know Drew is rarely ever in a good mood. And I got a feeling he's about to take out that bad mood on someone here tonight. Prepare to see a heavy, hard-hitting affair. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, man. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Close line. Tornado oh. DDT. Talk about devastation. McIntyre turns things around. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Put it in position now. Oh, tossed aside. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Tossing them aside. Reversal. What a catch. about as formidable a competitor as they come here at WWE. He's a man who can be into the pin attempt and a shoulder in the air. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. McIntyre gets away from that. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Big forearm. Ooh. Clubbing blows. Right in the bread basket. Lifts him up the spine buster. And here we go now. Elbow drop. McIntyre is just so dominant. Yeah, Sammy's defensive instincts need to kick in. Oh, the shoulder takes a pounding there. Power slam incoming. No, from behind. Now an inverted DDT. Picks him up. No way. Somersault plancha to the floor. Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Clubbing blows. He's looking a little weary now. And McIntyre's aggression seemingly growing with each attack. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. 
Drew exhibiting all his power and force. And they were just sent flying on that one. Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what. Momentum going back to Zayn's corner. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Look at this. Boom. Nice. He steps foot in the ring again. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Close. Can he do it here? Just kicks out. Somehow, some way. He knows how to avoid contact. Fire with a straight shot there. Batting down the hatches. These two are loaded. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Slugging away with everything they've got. Neither competitor is backing down. Short clothesline hits its mark. Oh, Glasgow kiss from Drew McIntyre. Just look at the confidence Drew McIntyre's exude. He could pin his opponent right here. comes to an end. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre! Drew McIntyre is victorious tonight. The Scottish Warrior is so versatile. It's time to stand up and show some respect to the future of WWE, Seth Rollins. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. Introducing first, representing the authority from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins. Cocky, crafty, conniving. Seth Rollins is one heck of an athlete, but his ego and attitude have obviously eclipsed his otherwise impressive talent. Okay, Cole. Crafty? Yeah, you yourself dubbed him the architect, Cole. Conniving? He simply has vision. Cocky? Why wouldn't he be? He's the future of this company, like it or not. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is, but he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level, and it's hard to argue against that. Here comes the game. 
the COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. And representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game triple A. Throughout his career, he has transformed himself into a household name. That's after results of a career spanning decades of main events and championship reigns. Triple H has inspired so many modern superstars. And he can still go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. WWE Universe on its feet for the game. Deservedly so, they are all paying homage to the King of Kings. Well, the entire WWE Universe knows that when it comes to Triple H, he always brings his very best, always competing at the absolute highest level. We are about to witness a master at work. And at a combined weight of 532 pounds, Chad Gable and Otis, the Alpha Academy. You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. Two absolute geniuses of the mat game. Yeah, and tonight we're about to see their thesis. The new day, the power of positivity has taken over my hips, my heart, and my entire soul. Come on, guys, clap with me. Sit Dude, down, Saxton. Rock, I will not stop, Corey. And, Day rocks. And a combined weight of 417 pounds. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The New Day. I look at these guys and I think two things. Boy, do they love unicorns and pancakes too much. But also, they can main event any show on their own. And that's why we are oh so lucky to see them here tonight. Superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. Looking for more damage here. Ah, police back suplex. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Modifier on this match, Corey. What kind of tactic? 
tactics should you expect to see? Ruthless tactics, Cole. Now is the time for these superstars to unleash their pent-up aggression and be as violent as they want. There's nothing the ref can do about it, so they should go all out. Call Hunter's secretary. Tell him we found the hammer. Joe Parker called it down. Now here's Chad Gable. And he has the shoulder up before two. A truly impressive kick out this late. He could pin his opponent right here. And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. Pulled back into the hip toss. I didn't think they were that strong. Stop after stop after stop. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. And he sends him into the corner. Inverted tree of woe position now. Oh my god, a close line! Super kick! Caught the leg. Nice takedown. Triple H showed how he's not going to be one to rest on his laurels. Scoop slam from behind. Inverted scoop slam. Play it possum. Whoa, play it possum. Strong kick out there. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Coming to the rescue. Now it's Woods. He catches Woods with a counter. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Into the corner now. Corner and a couple back elbows to follow. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars bet. Uh-oh. Oh, and he doesn't connect. that landing was probably enough to fracture a few bones. He is delivering elbow after elbow. <laughs> and a reversal by Otis. Set in. Set up. Oh, no. Can that finish Woods? Dodges. And a combination offense was on display there. Landing a big hit with that hammer. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Lifted way up. Oh, atomic drop. Sex. 
Jackson will knock the wind out of you. Ah, spinning, 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 spinning! <laughs> That's pretty cool to watch, though. This packed house is going absolutely... Pinfall. Meanwhile, we have Woods. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Uh -oh. Does he get him here? It is enough. Finally, it's over. Here are your winners. Chad Gable. Chad Gable leads the team to victory. We call a lot of matches, but this one's going to stick in my mind for weeks to come. I agree with you on that, Corey. This one was unforgettable.